Hello. Bonnie from the Alchemist store that I visited a few weeks ago and did a tour on has sent me something in the mail and I have no idea what it is. So let's check it out and let's get into this exciting box. After much savaging with scissors, I've got it open. So let's get this lid up. And a lovely thank you on the business card. What is in here? Oh my goodness, what have we gotten? Oh my gosh. She's only sent me that roll of etch of brushes that I was talking about and wishing I had, but it was a bit too expensive with my budget. Oh my lord. I can't believe that. A gorgeous looking washi tape. Let's peel that out. Ooh, pineapples. Oh, I like that. You know me, I love my washi tape. I'm going to come back to this. I need to see what's in this little package so beautifully wrapped. <laughs> oh my god, that is an Essabray brush. Wow, that is beautiful. Now I'll open this little etcher paintbrush roll. I love the texture and the colour of this one. It also comes in black, but the brown one was really speaking to me when I was in the shop. And also, I really love the look of the brushes in here. We have a number 12 in a round. And then there's some flat brushes. This one is a number 12 also. I do like a flat brush. I never used to use them, but lately I've been getting more into them. They're just really good for painting straight lines and blocking out areas. Then this one is a slight angle brush. Apologies if I can't remember all the names for the types of brushes. I'm not very good with them. But this is a number six, an angled flat, something like that. I don't think it's a dagger. Then we also have this little one, which is a number four, a number two, and three smaller ones. I'll pull all three out together. I think that plastic's going to come off. I'll just take that off because it's easier to see them. They never go back on, by the way. I always just chuck them out once I've pulled them off because it can damage the brush's bristles to put them back on, so it's just safer to keep them off. But we have three nice round brushes, two, a four, and a two, but this one is a much longer point. So it's a nice variety, and these little ones are really great for details. We need to take a closer look at this one too, don't we? <laughs> that is a pure Kalinsky Mart brush. I've not heard of Mart, or is that Sable? That is so beautiful. I mean, just the quality of this brush is stunning. Wow, I don't even know what to say. Bonnie, you have absolutely spoiled me with these brushes. Thank you so much for sending them to me. I mean, my gratitude is infinite. I just can't believe you sent me such a generous gift. These are high-end products and I'm just so thrilled to try them out. I've just noticed that all over this case are tiny little llamas. How cute is that? And I guess I'm going to have to do a painting with them, aren't I? <laughs> I was inspired by the washi tape design, so I'm drawing some pineapples here. One of them is a cut one with another whole pineapple in the back. And I drew this from scratch. I'm actually pretty pleased with how it turned out. I'm using 100% cotton cold press watercolour paper and it's actually taped down on a block. So that's why I didn't surround the paper with the washi tape. I just put a bit up the top there so we can be reminded as to what it looks like. So I did spend quite a lot of time on the drawing part. I'm just rubbing out some of the graphite there and I'm going over the top of everything with those two etcher pens that I bought from the Alchemist store. This extra fine pen actually worked really well on this paper and I think now that it's warmed up and that ink is fully flowing through it was perfect I had no more issues with it like I did in my first video on them and then I'm going around just some of the edges of the pineapple to add in a thicker line with the fine pen and rubbing out any more marks on there and now we're going into the painting I used only the Isabe brush for this because I wanted to see how it would function on its own and it is excellent it really is I love that long point on it you can probably see at the top of the swatch that these are my Holbein watercolors and I had this set on my desk so that's why I'm using it for an expensive brush like this I will only use it with professional level watercolor paints and on cotton paper I won't be using this brush with inks or gouache because those can be a little bit harder on brushes nope this one is purely for nice watercolors 
So my drawing is quite detailed but I'm actually painting very loosely because I didn't want it to be too tight if that makes sense. I wanted the watercolour to flow over the top of the ink drawing and once the bottom layer had dried I did go over things with a little more detail but not too much. So this brush is made with natural animal hair, pure Kalinsky sable and so that does need to be taken into account if you are someone who only wants to work with animal free products. Yes, it's a bit controversial having an animal hair brush. I don't actually own that many of them. I have a few and I have to say they are absolutely beautiful. There is just something about them that synthetic fiber cannot replicate fully. There are some amazing synthetic brushes out there though and they do keep getting better and better. But I do have a few animal hair ones as I said and I tend to treasure them like they're precious heirlooms because to me they are. These are something that I can imagine keeping for the rest of my life as long as they are well cared for. I would say that this is going to last a lot longer than a synthetic taclong brush which I tend to go through a lot more quickly even with a lot of brush care they just tend to break down so I guess there's some sustainability with animal hair products. But it's entirely up to the individual as to whether you want to have them or not. I personally really like them, I treasure them and this brush is no exception. It painted out so beautifully. I'm just adding in a bit of a light pink on the background to mimic the washi tape and now I'm using a synthetic brush to dot on a little bit of white ink. I find with natural hair brushes that they are a little more challenging to use because they pick up so much water and it takes time to learn how to control them more so than a synthetic brush which generally doesn't hold as much water. So they have their good points and bad points but really it's just a beautiful looking brush and I enjoyed using it. I'm very happy to have it in my collection. So I'm just adding a few finishing touches, darker shadows here and there and deepening the shadow under the pineapple so it doesn't look like the whole thing is floating in space. I'm really happy with how this turned out. I like how the Holbein paints worked with the brush and it's one of my better paintings of late. I think I really like it. So now I'm going to do another artwork with the etcher brushes and I forgot to mention that they are designed to be used with gouache but I mean you could use them for watercolor or even acrylic but I am going to use them for their intended purpose which is gouache. I am using black Stonehenge watercolor paper this is also 100% cotton and here it looks grey but it is actually black. The lights are causing it to look much brighter than what it really is. So I was using my gouache straight from tube. The paint is very wet. I used a few tubes of Art Spectrum gouache and I've put it in a palette which is off to the right hand side there. And as you can see gouache is very much more opaque than watercolour and therefore it can be layered. So that's pretty much what I did. I used I think only about four colors, yellow, white, black and raw umber. Plus a lot of these colors I mixed in with the white to make them more opaque and stand out. It took a few layers to do, the drawing took me ages to do as well. I didn't actually film it because I'd started to and I had to rub it all out and I was getting quite frustrated so I just did it off camera. But I just used a regular graphite pencil because that will shine against the black paper. The etcher brushes were nice, I enjoyed using them. These ones are synthetic fibers and I think Etcher has classed them as vegan friendly. If I'm perfectly honest I feel like Etcher has priced these just a little bit too expensive and I think that just tends to be Etcher products in general. But having said that everything I've used by them has been really good so far so I can't really complain too much. At least you get what you're paying for and the products are pretty decent quality and I really do like that fabric brush wrap that they come in so points to them for that. And I'm super happy to have them in my collection. I have one other small set of brushes for gouache and I think the etcher ones are actually quite a lot better now I'm thinking about it. Really you can never have too many brushes.
Yeah, look at the state of my desk. I think I'll zoom in so we can hide some of that. There we are, and no one was the wiser. <laughs> So I had a great time painting both of these pictures. I really like how the pineapples turned out. And this brush is absolutely gorgeous. I love it so much. I also enjoyed using the Etcher gouache brushes to paint my little raptor here. It didn't turn out too badly. And I like the blackness of the paper with the raptor. It was quite fun just bringing it out from dark to light. Not sure yet if I'm going to cut that. I might leave it just as it is for now. And I'm sure I will find a use for my washi tape. You'll probably see it in future videos as I'll put that into my drawer for using. So thank you all very much for watching and especially thank you to Bonnie for sending me these amazing brushes. I have just had the best time at painting with all of these. So in the future you'll probably see me using these brushes in my works and it's always nice to have these lovely ones. I've found a place for it in my zippy case. This one here because it's got a wider area for the brush and that fits in perfectly. If you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it always helps my channel out and do subscribe if you haven't already done so and I will see you all again really soon in my next video. Take care out there and I'll swatch you later. Bye!